Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, today we will be finishing the second half of the 24th juz, uh, which contains Surah Al Mu'min. Um, and we will uh, Hamim Sajda in the first half of the 25th juz, right, which contains also Hamim Sajda, Surah Al Shura. And we, inshallah, we will be doing a good amount of Surah Al Zukhruf. Uh, Surahs are very short, like I said, and it's profound. Uh, we should uh, go out of our way these last 10 days, inshallah. Benefit as much as we can. Especially these last 10 days. Probably the best 10 days of our life, right? Every year, if you want to benefit. According to Allah, not us. Right? The best 10 days. If we want a lot of reward, we should literally go out of our way. Imagine uh, your, your boss tells you, you know what? Uh, on these 10 days, your boss tells you on these 10 days, you get an extra bonus, right? Let's just say $50,000. We will go out of our way, right? Whatever the boss tells us, we would do. So our beloved Prophet ﷺ tells us about the benefits of these last 10 days. Even though we don't see the benefit physically in front of our eyes, but we have to believe. That's what Iman Bil Ghaib means, right? We have to believe what our Prophet tells us to be true, just like we are seeing it. We don't see Akhirah, but we have to believe it like, we have to believe in the Akhirah like we see it. We don't see Jannah, Jahannam, but we have to believe in it like we actually see it. In um, Surah Al-Mu'min, which we will be reading today, every single ayah, Wallahi, in this just that I'm reading is so beautiful. And I will, there's so many passages that I wanted to explain, but this passage caught my eyes. Allah Ta'ala says, Inna lanansuru rusulana walladheena amanu fil hayat dunya That verily, definitely, we will aid, we will help our messengers, our prophets, and those who believe in this world. Right? Allah Ta'ala, He is on the side of who? The messengers. And walladheena amanu. And He didn't leave us out either. Right? He did not leave us out either. Walladheena amanu. Who are the believers? The believers, Allah Ta'ala speaks in the 18th Jews that the believers, Mu'min, Iman, these people are successful and there are certain qualities about them. If these qualities are found, Allah Ta'ala calls them a believer. Right? You do good deeds, you have khushu and salah, you give your zakat and time, you stay away from useless activities and useless talks. Salah was mentioned in the first, like in the second ayah, and salah was also mentioned before, uh, at the end of that passage. So he put a lot of importance to salah. But anyways, so Allah Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala's help is always with the believers and Allah Ta'ala's help is always with the prophets. And in, in the beginning of this juz, Allah Ta'ala says, In aradani Allahu bidurin, bidurin hal hunna man fikatu rahmati kul hasbi Allah alayhi tawakkalu mutawakkilun That even if the whole world was to gather to harm you in any way, they cannot harm you if Allah is with that person. Subhanallah. You know, sometimes... We feel like, oh, Islam is being getting embarrassed. Look at this person, he's disgracing Islam. And in our, like, we feel kind of, no, we shouldn't. Allah Ta'ala said, he's inna deena inda Allah al-Islam. Allah Ta'ala, for him, the deen of Islam is for Allah. It's Allah's religion. And Allah created everything. Allah Ta'ala created this whole world. Allah is telling me and you that Islam is a religion of peace. And that truth will always prevail and falsehood will always be diminished. We shouldn't be scared or feel some type of way that, oh, Islam is going... No, it's not. Allah Ta'ala Himself says the truth will always prevail, right? And uh, all the other religions, they will be embarrassed. They will be diminished. The word of Allah will always be there. And Allah's help is with those people who believe. Allah Ta'ala talks about Musa alayhi salam and how he has given him guidance. Right? And they went through a lot. Musa alayhi salam and his people, you, they went through uh, a good amount of trials, a good amount of tri tribulations. The stories are different for each prophet. Lut, Nuh, Shu'ayb, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every single prophet, different trials, different tribulations, but the message was the same. Allah Ta'ala tells Musa, Fasbir inna wa'ad Allah, have patience. The word of Allah is true. 
The promise of Allah is true. The day of judgment is coming. Right? You will be rewarded for the patience that you are having now. You are going through a difficult time. You know, sometimes we're going through a difficult time and we feel like no one cares. But it doesn't matter. And uh, it doesn't matter what people, how people react. Right? It doesn't matter if I'm going through some kind of problem and I want everyone else to feel bad about my problem. Why do I care about other people caring about my problem? That shouldn't matter. Allah Ta'ala is saying that He will reward us for having patience. Right? That's all we need. We don't need family members, relatives, friends calling us and telling us, no, you have Allah and that's all that matters. Fasbid, have patience. Inna wa'ad Allah. The promise of Allah is true. Allah Ta'ala congratulates those people who are going through tribulations and trials and they are patient and they know that this is from Allah and I'm like, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. You love me, Ya Allah, and I love you, Ya Allah, and I'm doing this for you, Ya Allah. I am having patience. I lost a family member, but I'm having patience because I know your promise is true. I know whatever you decide is true, right? It's the best because you are the best of planners, right? Whatever Musa Islam was going through at that situation, Allah Ta'ala said, just have patience. This world is going to end anyways. You're rich, you're poor, you're healthy, you're unhealthy. So many problems everyone is going through, but it's going to end. You're, you're not going to be wealthy for the rest of, to, uh, on the Day of Judgment. You're not going to be poor on the Day of Judgment. You're not going to be healthy. Like, everyone in this world are different. Different trials and tribulations for everyone. But everyone's going to be ending up the same on the Day of Judgment. Everyone will be questioned. Everyone will be questioned. And Allah Ta'ala will see, will ask, See, I made you wealthy. How did you react? I gave you so much wealth. You were living the life you wanted to. Well, what, what about me? Allah Ta'ala will look at the poor person. Right? Your trial, was, you were poor. I made you poor on purpose. I wanted you to remember me. Because if you were wealthy, you would not have remembered me. And I knew that. So I made you poor. And that's why you remembered me. Go to Jannah. So Allah Ta'ala, He knows. He's Al-Hakim. Fasbir inna wa'ad Allah ya That's what He tells Musa Islam. That know that the promise of Allah is true. Have patience. Everything's going to come to an end. But patience, you will be rewarded. Have patience, you will be rewarded. For all the sins, even this addressing to us too. Right? That the sins that we did, repent for it. You made a mistake. You and I made a mistake. Repent for it. And not only repent for it, feel bad and remember Allah. Do tasbih of Allah. You know, in today's time, after namaz, we just say, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Like it's, like a, it's like a habit. We're not thinking about it. We're just, we're just doing it because it became a norm. It became a habit. No, we should sit down. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Glory be to Allah. Allah is pure. Nothing can, nothing is equivalent. Nothing is like Allah. We have to think, sit down. Think about the meaning. Allah Ta'ala is telling Musa Islam to do this right now. Right? And the next ayah goes, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ You know, sometimes we are so engrossed in what other people are doing. Right? How are people looking down upon Islam? Right? And then we forget about our own selves. Allah Ta'ala is saying, those people, they have their own problems. Don't worry about them. But you, as a believer, remember me. Ask forgiveness. Seek forgiveness for the sins that you have committed. And do tasbih. This will benefit you. Those people, in الَّذِينَ يُجَادِنُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ سُلْطَانِ Those people who don't believe in me, right? who don't want to accept me, who reject Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, those people, right, they claim Bighayri Sultan in Atahum. They say a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that comes out of their mouth doesn't make sense. Allah Ta'ala is saying that where is this proof that they say Allah Ta'ala has a son? You're claiming that I have a son, where is your proof? You claim that there is no God, where is your proof? Right? You claim so many things about me, Allah is saying, but where is your proof? So Allah Ta'ala is saying, don't worry about those people. Those people, they will say a lot of stuff about me. Allah is saying in the Quran, those people will say a lot of stuff about me. Don't worry about them. In fi sudurihim illa kibrum mahum bibalghi. They have so much pride in their heart, right? Mahum bibalghi. But whatever ambition that they have in their life, whatever ambition that they have in their life to against to go against our beloved Prophet وسلم, they will never be able to reach it. Whatever ambitions that the Christians, the Jews, the atheists have right now, people making YouTube videos, they're making money, millions and millions of you, but Allah Ta'ala is saying, they will never win. They will never reach it. Allah Ta'ala is saying, 
ما هم ببالغي don't worry about them فاستعيد بالله what we have to do is don't get to don't delve into these matters that are irrelevant to us we do tasbih of Allah we seek forgiveness for the sins that we have done right now we're going on Facebook Twitter social media looking at what this person said and we're doing research and we're trying to comment relax do something that will benefit you you're there you're commenting back and forth five hours pass by did you gain anything the guy's still arrogant he's still kafir and you're just sitting there and you're thinking you're, uh, you're arrogant too both of you guys become arrogant and no conclusion do this via of Allah Ta'ala إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَسِيرُ because it is Allah Ta'ala who's hearing everything he's hearing what you're doing and basir he's seeing what you're doing he's hearing and he's seeing exactly what he's doing uh, time is running out uh, I want to explain like another three four ayah but may Allah Ta'ala make us really understand that one thing we learned in today's passage is the sabr that we have to have that whatever that we go through right have patience because the promise of Allah is here right it's true right we will be benefited for the things that we have endured and have patience for so may Allah Ta'ala grant us patience may Allah Ta'ala make us remember Allah more may Allah Ta'ala make us seek forgiveness وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكْ right especially this month of Ramadan these last 10 days right we should go out, go out of our ways five minutes before iftar we break our fast let's sit down and seek forgiveness for the sins that we have committed because we are kullu bani adam khatta right we, we commit sins but Allah Ta'ala is telling us to seek forgiveness May Allah Ta'ala make us understand what has, what has been said today. Wa akhiru da'awahum. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.